Welcome to our video on JavaScript code organization for data-driven applications. Today, we're addressing a question from a developer working on a medium to large-scale ASP.NET MVC application. They have some doubts about the best design patterns and code organization strategies to implement. The developer is using Kendo UI MVC widgets defined with Razor templates and has organized their JavaScript files into shared and page-specific folders. They are concerned about whether their current approach is friendly for other developers and if it aligns with best practices. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you find that resolution you need. Anyway, let's continue on. In this video, we'll discuss how to organize JavaScript code for a data-driven ASP.NET MVC application using Kendo UI. Let's start by looking at your current folder structure. You've organized your JavaScript files into shared and page-specific folders. This is a good practice as it promotes reusability and maintainability. Now, let's examine your module pattern. Your use of the IFE, or Immediately Invoked Function Expression, encapsulates your module, preventing global namespace pollution. This is a solid approach. However, let's address your concerns. To answer your first question, your approach is not wrong. It's modular and organized. For testing, consider using frameworks like Jest or Mocha, which can work well with your current structure. Lastly, regarding jQuery plugins, they are useful for reusable components. Ensure your plugins are well documented and follow a consistent API. This will help other developers understand and use them effectively. Let's now look at a user suggested answer. To organize your JavaScript code for a data-driven application, start with a clear folder structure. Divide your code into app for application code and lib for libraries. This modular approach helps in managing functionality effectively. Naming your files appropriately is crucial. Use a namespace followed by a descriptive term to make it easy to identify and reuse code. For example, use ns.calendar.js for calendar-related functions. Implement a global namespace to group your modules, which helps differentiate between library and application code. Use an immediately invoked function expression, or EFE, to bind your namespace to the window object. For production, bundle and minify your JavaScript files to improve loading times and SEO. Use async loading for the bundled file and defer for development scripts. In conclusion, ensure you have a global namespace, a modular approach, and a solid bundling strategy. This will streamline your development process and enhance performance. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. Let's discuss organizing JavaScript code for a data-driven application. 
First, consider returning your module as an object instead of using global variables. This allows for easier renaming if conflicts arise. However, a better approach is to avoid global variables altogether. Instead, create a single global object manager to handle all your modules. This keeps your code cleaner and more manageable. With this object manager, you can easily add new object types and retrieve instances without cluttering the global namespace. This simplifies your code and reduces potential conflicts. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To organize your JavaScript code in a data-driven application, consider separating your files into different components. Each component can have its own folder. For example, if you have a component for rectangles, create a folder named Rectangle with files for HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. This way, if there's an issue with the rectangle component, you know exactly where to look for the problem. Additionally, using a router can help isolate variables and execute the correct code based on the URL. I hope this helps. Let me know if you need more assistance. And that's it guys. We've gone through, I hope you found your resolution and found the answer you're looking for. If it helped, please hit subscribe, really appreciate it. And be on the lookout for more technical help videos. Have a good one.